Most of you have probably learned the formulas for calculating the areas of different shapes in school. Ever wondered why they work? Well in this video, that's what I'm going to be discussing. The shapes that I'm going to be talking about in this video are triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagons, and hexagons. I will only be talking about the regular pentagon and hexagon. I'm going to be starting off with the rectangle because the formula for the rectangle is pretty self-explanatory. You just multiply the height times the base. A lot of the other formulas are found out by turning the shape into a rectangle and then finding the area. The triangle is a pretty good example of this. So you cut it down the middle and then you slide two of the pieces like this to form a rectangle. Now you can do height times base, but since this is two times the original triangle, you divide it by two. You may have seen the formula written out like this, but they both equal the same thing. With the parallelogram, you can cut a triangle off one side and add it to the other. Now it's a rectangle, so you can do height times base. You can do the same thing with a trapezoid, but you'll need to rotate the triangle at the other end. In a rectangle, opposite sides are equal. So to make this, you add both sides and then divide it by 2 to get equal sides. Now that you have the base, you just need to multiply it by the height to get the area. The formula for the area of a pentagon may look familiar because it has the formula for the area of a triangle in it. Well, to find the area of a pentagon, you need to divide into 5 triangles, find the area of one triangle, and then multiply it by 5. To find the area of a hexagon, you also need to divide into triangles. As you may remember, to get the area of a triangle, you need the height. Dividing one of these triangles in half results in a 30-60-90 triangle. The base of this triangle is a half of s, so this side will be half of s times the square root of 3, which equals the square root of 3 over 2 times s. Now we plug it into the formula for the area of a triangle. So, the area of one of these triangles is the square root of 3 over 4 times s squared. Since there are 6 triangles, we multiply this number times 6. And then, we just need to simplify. And that's how you get the formula for the area of a hexagon.